and welcome back today we're gonna upload our application to vercel.com so if you don't know how to publish your application you don't want to miss this one so let's do it go with sloba in order to publish our application we need to create a new repository so head over to your github account and let's create a new repository which we can actually use to uh, upload to vercel so let's click on the new and here we need to provide a name of our repository next js tutorial like this and i can make this one as a private and i can create this repository so click on create repository like this in order to push our code we can just copy one of the solutions that we have here so we can push existing uh, repository or create a new one since i have a repository i will just push the existing so i will just copy this code and let's head over to our terminal and let me just paste in the command and let's just push to the main here let's wait for a couple of seconds and let's refresh our page to see if we got our code pushed and as you can see we have pushed our code now we can go to vercel and upload this so make sure to create an account this is a free entirely you don't need to provide any credit cards or anything so just create a new account and let's get over to your dashboard here in the dashboard you can go and you can add new project and then you just need to link in the github repository that you have created so if you don't see your repository here in the repository list you need to make sure that you click on this adjust github app permissions so click on that click on what you want to configure here i need to enter my password and then i can allow what applications we can actually uh, use inside of your cell so you can select all repositories or just the one that you want so let's use the next js the one that i just created so this one and let's just save this so now when the page refreshes we can actually see that we get this next.js tutorial which has been added two minutes ago so just import this one and now we can configure our project so here we have this project name we can leave this as is we have framework preset that's fine but the only thing that we actually need to do here is we need to adjust the environment variables so we need to go to our environment file and we need to copy whatever values we have there so let's open the environment file and here we actually have only this database url so let's copy this let's head over to our application and here now instead of this key value we can just copy paste the code uh, the good thing about Vercel is that actually you can just copy this entire line and it will pre-format this so it will separate the keys and the values and that's it if you don't enter these values your database is not going to work you're going to get the errors so once you have done this you can just click on deploy here and let's wait to magic to happen nice thing about this is that you actually have this log so you can expand this building and you can see all the logs and if you have any issues or errors it's gonna show up here and after a minute or so we finally have deployed our application and we get this congratulations screen and we can see that we have this like a snapshot of our application so if you click on this uh, screenshot we get redirected to this new url this next.js tutorial ATI. you can change this and update if you're using production ready but for this tutorial this is more than enough so as we can see we get navigated to our counter page it works as expected so now just let's go to to do list to see if our database works as expected so if you refresh our application here we can see that migration has been successful and let's try to add a new task let's say third task and let's click on create task if we you know wait for a couple of seconds we haven't removed that delay that we have on this one and we got this third task so if we refresh the page we can see that database is working as expected and if you go to our prisma we can see that this is a static page as we learned in the previous tutorials so this works also as expected and this is all i hope you guys enjoyed the course so far starting from the next tutorial we're gonna start building new application so you don't want to miss that tutorial see you in the next one and if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that i'm doing feel free to check out patreon.com code with sloba to get full access see you there code with sloba Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.